Hey, what's up everybody? Video 44 coming at you here with another video. So I just watched the introductory press conference for Russell Westbrook to the Los Angeles Lakers and everything went well. I heard all the right stuff. I think everybody's excited about ready, uh, excited about starting the season and being ready to go. Um, and, and you know, really, I didn't have too many takeaways other than uh, Russell Westbrook just continues to display his character, high level, um, unselfish individual you know he thinks highly of, of his community and he makes sure that he incorporates others in his responses when he's considering things for himself and that's exactly what you want to see uh in the type of person that you're bringing to your organization so that's the first thing i took away to be completely honest with you is just the character of the man um but the second thing i really took away from the from the presser was just uh how excited he appeared to be to be a laker um you know he was he had a serious demeanor he didn't come up there dressing like, you know, flamboyant, like he, he can, you know, like he normally does. Uh, he came up ready to go, you know, hard hat on basically. And, uh, you know, he was listening. He was listening to what Rob Palenka had to say. You know, he was listening to what um, coach had to say in, 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 in media. And, and he was really, um, he looked like he was in a space of peace. You know what I mean? As it pertains to the decision, um, well, not decision necessarily, but just the, the overall circumstance. He looked like he's very happy. Um, you know, he's, he wants to be home, you know, it seems, and, and he's going to get a chance to be with family, and, and that's the most important part of being home for him, you know, helping the community and things of that nature, and ultimately just uh, being a part of something special with the Lakers, you know. Uh, it's obviously a dream come to, true coming home to play for the Lakers, and his family's extremely excited about him playing for the Lakers. Uh, this is what it's all about. You know, when you're from out here, uh, and you're, you're an athlete, you know the importance of being a Laker, whether you're a fan or not, you know what it means. It means a lot to your family. It means a lot to you. Um, you know what I mean? It means a lot to the city. Uh, L.A. is is a intricate place. You know, we have a lot of things, a lot of moving parts, a lot of people intertwined with one another. So our roots are, are deep out here. And <clears throat> when you represent this city, when you wear a Laker uniform, you're, you're representing a lot. It, it means a lot to people here because we understand just how much this city has been through together. We understand just how much this city has uh, has been able to accomplish uh, in revenue, bring it to this country. And we understand uh, in the rural cities, we have some of the most talented and brilliant individuals. Um, we know this, who have influenced the world in many different ways and the names go on forever. And Russell Westbrook is yet another one of those names so when he gets a chance to put on that uniform is, and, and wear that purple and gold with all of the opportunities uh, that the Lakers have to win championships and, and, and the championships that we've had, yeah, he has a chance to not only come to this team, but to contribute to championship glory. You know what I mean? It's a difference between him coming to this Laker team and him possibly coming to the Laker team that we had with the kids. You know what I mean? It's a different vibe. When you know, you know that you have a chance of putting your putting your stamp on this thing just like every other great player who's ever won here. Yeah, he's in that position. And then I think about like the fact that he played with the Thunder and had no intention of leaving there, would have stayed there his whole career no matter what. He was never going to ask his way out of there or anything. This was meant to happen, you know. It's not something that he ever would have forced his way to. So I don't think it's something he probably even really dreamed about when he was with the Thunder. Uh, but since this has come about, it's like, you know, the path to hasn't been the greatest. Going with the Rockets, that wasn't the easiest fit. And obviously going to Washington was humbling, but he made the most of it. But it landed him with the Lakers on a super team that fits his game. That will allow him to not have as much pressure to do the things that he's always been tasked with doing. Uh, it gives him an opportunity to play off the ball in a system that isn't just my turn, your turn, my my turn, your turn, like what he was dealing with in Houston. That was an awful situation. This is more so him playing off the ball in a fluent passing offense with all different types of running players and shooting players. I don't think he's had a fit like this. And the Thunder, he didn't, you know, in, with the exception of playing with KD, which was not a seamless fit because of how he played, he's a much more wise player now. He's a much more mature person now. And I think that he's learned, especially playing with Bradley Beal, uh, exactly what it takes to make it work 
with other players who who need the ball. You know what I mean? And even though you can orchestrate situations and you can you can you can really do everything yourself, I think he learned playing with Washington that it's okay to not. And you can still get your numbers. You know what I mean? You can you can let that guy be the leading scorer. Not take possessions away from him necessarily, and still manage to get your team to the playoffs. You know what I mean? And, and that's what they did. The Washington Wizards were a much improved basketball team because of the presence of Russell Westbrook. Bradley Beal calls him the greatest teammate he ever had. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying to you? And uh, we're lucky to have the Brody here, man. We're lucky to have him here. I, I am hopeful that the Lakers are able to maintain health because we've had so much bad luck in that that area. That's the fear for everyone. But we're healthy now. Um, we got the team. We got the squad. Still got a couple roster spots open. And, you know, as I said in the comment section of the, of the presser, we've had many different types of beast put on the Laker uniform. The different types of players. You got the Shaqs, the Wilts, the Kareems, the Kobe's, Magic Johnson, Powell, all these different unique beasts. Jerry West, Elgin Baylor, all these different guys, right? LeBron James, Anthony Davis. We never had anything like the Brody. Not this particular type of animal. We've never, never in the history of the Lakers have we had this type of aggressive guard. Never. And, and we've had a lot of great guards. Don't get it twisted. But nobody that comes at the, the, the defense the way that, that Russie attacks the defense. Nobody that comes and attacks the rim at that level of ferociousness repeatedly from the guard position. Not somebody with that type of athleticism and explosive athleticism and continuous, relentless, aggressive motor. Not this kind of motor. We know Kobe had that. He could go at you and would continue to aggressively go at you. But he would more so pick you apart methodically by combining jump shots and, and different things. And, and, you know, he had his own way of attacking, right? Aggressive, relentless. But he wasn't this. This is, this is a different beast here. <laughs> so I'm super excited about what he's going to be bringing to the table. I understand what the concerns are about him shooting the ball. I also understand this is a first ballot Hall of Famer who's led the league in scoring and has led the league in assists multiple times, <laughs> several MVPs, right? This is not just a regular guy we're picking up. We're picking up an all-time great, and the only thing he's missing is a championship. And he's not too old to where Father Time is kicking his butt. He's 32. That's real good prime age, real good prime age for a guy. That's when you're seasoned, your body's fully at a point where you're, you know, have all the muscle you need. You know what I mean? You've been in the gym for many, many years. And a guy like Russi, we know what type of um, genetics he has in regards to that anyway. So he's, he's, he's going to be aggressive. He's going to dunk on people. He's still going to do the things that Russell Westbrook does at a high level. And he's going to be highly motivated by the circumstances and by wearing the uniform, being home. You know what I mean? So I'm excited about it for him. I'm excited about it for us. I'm excited about it for the team as a, as a whole. Uh, I think each and every player on this roster at this point uh, is in a position to do the things that they do best a lot of the time. They can get to their spots and do their thing, and that's what I like about this team. Russell Westbrook will be able to hold the ball and aggressively control the offense at times. I'm sure he'll share that with LeBron James. This, the fit is not going to be seamless right away, I don't believe. But they are both very, very cerebral, very, very brilliant, legendary basketball players. Them playing off one another is going to be the least of our worries, I'd say, by mid-January. It may take a while for them to get it, but by mid-January, they're going to look like they've played with each other for six years if they're, if, they've, if they're healthy. Like, they're not only going to have synergy, it's going to be beautiful. Because that's the type of cerebral, visual type of players that we have in those two particular players. Not worried at all. Um, and look at it like this. Russell Westbrook is not the greatest shooter in the world. Neither is LeBron James. 
So there are going to be nights where they both hit, and there are going to be nights where they both brick. You know, it's just part of it. But the good thing about it is we have such fantastic shooters that they don't really have to take threes at all, really, only to keep the defense honest. But like they can add, they can shoot two a game, and that could be good enough. Especially given the fact that we should be running most of our offense through AD this year. Being that those guys are older, he should be the one getting the ball, scoring the ball on most possessions. You know, he's, he's a walking bucket just about every time he's down on the floor. So, um, yeah, I think I think they should lean on him. That's what the Lakers should do. Lean on the big guy. Don't, don't try to do too much, and you'll be fine. That's what I think. Uh, so, yeah, man, a lot of exciting stuff here. Welcome to the Los Angeles Lakers. Russell Westbrook and family. Brody's home, y'all. Brody is home. That's what I got, man. I'm super excited about it. Number zero is what he's wearing. Um, and, and like I said, we're getting him at the right time. That's the main thing. If we would have got him several years back, I don't think we would have been happy with some of the production, some of the way that his shot selection went, some of the way that he did certain things. He has grown. And one of the things that he mentioned in this presser was that he's, li he's listening now. You know, he's, he's looking to listen and pick up from any and everyone around him to make himself a better basketball player. You know, he understands he's on a team with some guys uh, who can help him, you know, who can uh, teach him th some things. And, and that's something that stood out as well to me, you know. Uh, so I'm looking to see him improve upon his shot selection. Uh, that's going to be the learning curve uh, or the next level for him. I think it's just studying his old film and, and learning where and when. Uh, and, and I think that's the, once he does that, I think he'll help our team to, to a championship. I don't think there's anything that can stop us. The Nets are obviously a thing. I don't want to say anything, but, but aside from the Nets and the greatness that they can provide, which I think we can match, um, we should be able to take our own destiny into our own hands. So I'm excited about this team. Uh, still got some things to do with the roster, but looking good, man. Real, really, really good. So, yeah, that's what I got, man. My name is BDF44. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.